The James Webb Space Telescope has been in the news since it was launched on Christmas Day 2021. The Superstar Telescope has since unfolded the universe in a way no one expected. Only recently, it discovered six galaxies that existed only 500 million years after the Big Bang. Not just that, these galaxies are well-formed and contain more stars than today's galaxies like our Milky Way. These galaxies should not exist as it toys with our model of cosmology. To make matter more uncomfortable for scientists, researchers from the University of Minnesota have discovered that one of these galaxies is so bizarre that we might have to go back to the drawing board. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, represents a quantum leap forward in our ability to explore the cosmos. With its advanced instrumentation and unparalleled sensitivity, JWST promises to revolutionize our understanding of the universe, particularly in the realm of early universe studies. One of JWST's most remarkable features is its ability to collect approximately 10 times as much light as its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. This significant increase in light-gathering power enables JWST to peer deeper into the cosmos, unveiling celestial phenomena that were previously beyond the reach of observation. By capturing a wealth of photons emanating from distant galaxies and cosmic structures, JWST opens a new window of exploration, offering astronomers unprecedented insights into the universe's origin and evolution. JWST's enhanced sensitivity at redder, longer wavelengths in the infrared spectrum provides astronomers with a unique tool for studying the early universe. Unlike visible light, which is often obscured by cosmic dust and gas, Infrared radiation can penetrate these dense clouds, revealing hidden celestial treasures that would otherwise remain invisible. This capability is particularly valuable for observing distant galaxies and ancient stars whose light has been stretched to longer wavelengths due to the universe's expansion. By harnessing the power of infrared astronomy, JWST allows scientists to peer back in time to the cosmic dawn, the epoch when the first stars and galaxies emerged from the primordial soup of the early universe. This cosmic dawn holds the key to unlocking fundamental mysteries about the universe's formative years, including the processes of galaxy formation, star birth, and cosmic reionization. One of JWST's primary goals is to study the epoch of reionization, a pivotal phase in the universe's history when the neutral hydrogen gas that pervaded the cosmos was ionized by the intense ultraviolet radiation emitted by early stars and galaxies. By observing distant galaxies and quasars during this epoch, JWST can shed light on the timing, extent, and mechanisms of cosmic reionization, providing crucial insights into the transition from the cosmic dark ages to the luminous universe we observe today. JWST's infrared capabilities enable it to peer through the veil of cosmic dust and gas, unveiling the hidden processes of star formation and galaxy evolution. By studying the infrared emission from dusty star-forming regions and protogalactic disks, Astronomers can trace the birth of stars and the assembly of galaxies across cosmic time, unraveling the intricate tapestry of cosmic evolution. JWST promises to revolutionize our understanding of exoplanets, worlds orbiting distant stars beyond our solar system. By detecting the faint infrared signatures of exoplanet atmospheres, JWST can analyze their composition, temperature, and potential habitability, paving the way for the search for life beyond Earth. The scientific potential of JWST is vast and multifaceted, spanning a wide range of astronomical disciplines, from the study of distant galaxies and quasars to the exploration of nearby exoplanets and planetary systems. Its unprecedented sensitivity combined with its ability to observe in the infrared positions JWST at the forefront of modern astronomy, poised to uncover new insights into the nature of the universe and our place within it. As astronomers prepare to embark on a new era of discovery with JWST, they stand on the threshold of a profound journey, one that promises to illuminate the darkest corners of the cosmos and reveal the secrets of the universe's origins. But to understand the early universe, we need to go back in time to a point where time and space did not exist. According to the theory of cosmic inflation, the universe was born with a Big Bang as an unimaginably hot dense point. When the universe was just a hundredth of a billionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a second in age, it experienced an incredible burst of expansion known as inflation, during which space itself expanded faster than the speed of light. During this period, the universe first doubled in size at least 90 times, 
going from subatomic size to golf ball sized almost instantaneously. After that, the growth of the universe continued but at a slower rate. As space expanded, the universe cooled and matter formed. Only one second after the Big Bang, the universe was filled with neutrons, protons, electrons, anti-electrons, photons, and neutrinos. But for the first 380,000 years or so, the universe was essentially too hot for light to shine. However, 380,000 years after matter began to cool, and it cooled enough for atoms to form. After this point, the universe was plunged into darkness since no stars or any other bright objects had formed yet. Fast forward to 400 million years after the Big Bang, and we can see the universe beginning to come out of its dark ages. This period in the universe's evolution is called the Age of Reionization. During this phase, which lasted for more than 500 million years, the first stars started to appear so galaxy formation began building up. In the first billion years after the Big Bang, galaxies sort of reached adolescence. However, the James Webb Space Telescope has found not one but six galaxies that were fully formed only 500 million years after the Big Bang, and that is a problem. Using first-of-their-kind observations from the James Webb Space Telescope, a University of Minnesota team looked more than 13 billion years into the past to discover a unique minuscule galaxy that generated new stars at an extremely high rate for its size. The galaxy is one of the smallest ever discovered at this distance and could help astronomers learn more about galaxies that were present shortly after the universe came into existence. The galaxy's volume is roughly a millionth of the Milky Way's, but we can see that it's still forming the same number of stars each year. The galaxies that existed when the universe was in its infancy are very different from what we see in the nearby universe now. Scientists studying these galaxies could help us figure out how and when these first stars and galaxies emerged from within the universe's dark ages. Until then, it remains a mystery as to how the universe came into being. As days pass, more results of observations from JWST are revealing that the universe, especially at its early stage, was stranger than we imagine. Not only has Webb discovered these early galaxies, but it has also now found a black hole which is almost as old as the universe. Scientists have discovered what they believe to be the oldest known black hole in the universe, owing to the telescope's ultra-powerful sensors that captured this elusive entity. This supermassive black hole, which dwarfs our sun by a staggering 10 million times, existed at the center of a galaxy 570 million years after the universe's inception, a time so remote it's difficult to fathom. To put it in perspective, the universe itself is estimated to be 13.7 billion years old. Observations collected through the James Webb Space Telescope have revealed an active supermassive black hole 10 million times the mass of the Sun, one that is actively growing as it slurps up matter from the space around it at just 57 million years after the Big Bang. This is the earliest growing supermassive black hole detected yet, although scientists are hoping it won't remain the record holder for long. The black hole was found inside one of the earliest galaxies ever detected, previously known as EGSY-8, though since renamed CN-19. Its discovery could help with one of the biggest head scratches of the early universe. How the black holes in the cosmic dawn grew to such large size in such a short amount of time. The statement we found the most distant active galactic nucleus, AGN, and the most distant, earliest black hole we've ever found, encapsulates a monumental breakthrough in our understanding of the cosmos. It signifies the discovery of CN19, a galaxy housing not only an active AGN, but also an exceptionally ancient black hole. This discovery stands as a testament to the remarkable capabilities of modern astronomical instruments and the relentless pursuit of knowledge by scientists. The journey to uncovering CN19 began with a meticulous examination of the universe's infancy. Scientists, armed with cutting-edge technology and a profound curiosity about the early cosmos, embarked on a quest to study star formation in its earliest stages. Their target, CN19, a celestial entity shrouded in the mists of time, yet glowing with the promise of unveiling secrets hidden within the cosmic dawn. Star formation, a fundamental process in the evolution of galaxies, emits a distinctive signal known as Lyman alpha emission. This signature, originating from the ionization of neutral hydrogen by nascent stars, serves as a beacon, illuminating the darkness of the early universe, 
beckoning astronomers to peer deeper to unravel the mysteries of cosmic genesis concealed within the depths of space and time. As scientists turned their gaze towards CN19, they were met with a revelation beyond their wildest expectations. Amidst the faint whispers of star formation, a new voice emerged, an AGN stirring from eons of slumber to cast its luminous gaze upon the cosmos. This discovery defied conventional wisdom, challenging our understanding of the early universe's dynamics and raising profound questions about the interplay between black holes and galactic evolution. The coexistence of an AGN and a black hole within CN19 offered a tantalizing glimpse into the cosmic drama unfolding in the ancient epochs of the universe. It hinted at a complex interplay of forces, stellar birth and death, gravitational collapse, and the inexorable march of time that shaped the celestial landscape in the crucible of cosmic evolution. The significance of this discovery reverberated throughout the scientific community, igniting a fervor of inquiry and speculation. As astrophysicists, armed with newfound knowledge and unbridled curiosity, embarked on a quest to unravel the mysteries concealed within CN19's luminous embrace. For Rebecca Lawson, an astrophysicist intimately involved in the discovery, the revelation was both awe-inspiring and humbling. As she beheld the cosmic symphony playing out before her, she was overwhelmed by the sheer magnitude of the data streaming from JWST's instruments. Each photon, each spectral line whispered secrets of the universe's origin, beckoning humanity to unlock the mysteries of its distant past. The discovery of CN19 marked a paradigm shift in our understanding of the early universe. It shattered preconceived notions, forcing scientists to reassess their theories and hypotheses in light of new evidence. No longer could the past be viewed through a narrow lens of certainty. Instead, it beckoned us to embrace the uncertainty, to delve deeper into the unknown in search of truth. As the scientific community grappled with the implications of this groundbreaking discovery, questions began to emerge, questions that transcended the boundaries of conventional knowledge and ventured into the realm of speculation. How did the black holes in the cosmic dawn grow to such immense proportions in such a short span of time? What cosmic forces sculpted the celestial landscape, shaping galaxies and black holes alike in the crucible of cosmic evolution? The search for answers led scientists on a journey of exploration, a quest to unlock the secrets of the universe's infancy. Armed with the powerful tools of modern astronomy, they delved into the depths of space and time, seeking clues hidden within the cosmic tapestry. The story of CN19 is a testament to the indomitable spirit of human curiosity, to our relentless pursuit of knowledge in the face of uncertainty. It reminds us that the universe, vast and unfathomable, holds secrets beyond our wildest imaginings, waiting to be discovered by those bold enough to seek them. As we peer into the depths of space and time, let us remember the words of Carl Sagan. Somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. In the case of CN19, that something incredible has been revealed. A glimpse into the cosmic dawn, a window into the birth of galaxies and black holes, and a testament to the power of human ingenuity and perseverance in the pursuit of truth. As we contemplate the implications of this discovery, let us remain steadfast in our pursuit of knowledge, guided by the timeless spirit of inquiry that has propelled humanity to the forefront of cosmic exploration. For in the cosmic dance of creation and destruction, we are but humble observers, striving to unlock the secrets of the universe and glimpse the hidden truths that lie beyond the veil of the unknown. The early universe was filled with a fog of neutral hydrogen, which prevented light from propagating. It was only after this hydrogen was ionized that light could stream freely. This epoch of reionization, as it is known, is not fully understood. We know it took place in the first billion years after the Big Bang, 13.8 billion years ago, but seeing that far into the early universe is really hard. CN19 and a handful of other super-early galaxies are excellent targets for this research because they are relatively bright. The galaxy was identified in Hubble data in 2015 and at the time was the earliest, most distant galaxy observed. Subsequent observations confirmed its existence, but more detailed information remained elusive. The earliest light in the universe has shifted so far into the infrared part of the spectrum due to the universe's expansion that a powerful, dedicated infrared instrument like JWST is necessary to probe them. 
So when JWST came along, CN19, the brightest of the Hubble galaxies from this epoch, was an obvious target. The telescope stared at the galaxy for just one hour with all of its instruments but returned a wealth of data. In the moment, I was kind of like, wow, look at everything we can see with JWST. We've seen this whole portion of the spectrum of this galaxy and any galaxies early on in the universe we've never seen before, said astrophysicist Rebecca Lawson. I was just overwhelmed by the amount of information, but then she noticed something she wasn't quite expecting. In addition to the light of star formation, there was a broad emission feature usually associated with an AGN. And when she mentioned it to some AGN researchers, things started to get interesting. Typically, a galaxy in the early universe emits either light from an AGN or light from star formation. To see both in the same galaxy was extremely unexpected. There is some impact that the black hole is having on the emission lines that we're seeing, but most of the light we see in our images is still dominated by the star-forming part of the galaxy.